Welcome to a 15 minute beginner ride with Drake and friends. My name is Holly. I'm so happy you're here. We're gonna start in the saddle. In fact, you can do this entire ride in the saddle if you would like. Make sure you have enough support on the wheel. We are looking at about 93 RPMs right here. Don't worry if you don't have a computer. This is a rhythm ride. So the music dictates your speed. Okay, those are your RPMs, revolutions per minute. So you don't need a computer. You can always just watch my feet. Okay? Now, always feel like you can play with the resistance. If it feels like it's too much, don't feel like you're locked into that turn up. If you overcommitted and it causes you to slow down behind the beat, you want to take that resistance off just a little bit so that you still feel challenged, but you're able to maintain the rhythm. Okay? Good. So now let's take a deep breath in. Bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And then exhale. Relax your shoulders down. We want to make sure that we're not accumulating any tension from the waist up. Always a little bend in the elbows. That's going to prevent you or sort of prevent you from keeping your shoulders up here. Okay, we want to keep them down and relaxed. Your face is relaxed. Maybe smiling a little bit, maybe singing to the music. <laughs> now let's add a little bit more resistance right here. You want to make sure your abs are in tight. Press your belly button towards your spine. Your spine is tall and stacked, and your shoulder blades are retract. So they're contracting as if you could pinch something in between them on your back. And that means your collarbones are wide. Okay? Another little turn right here. Just enough so that you feel change. You're starting to feel your legs get warm and you're starting to breathe through your mouth. Okay, that's your body requiring more oxygen, meaning that it's working a little bit harder, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Now, we're gonna slow down just a little bit. This is gonna be a gradual progression. We're gonna get a little bit slower after this. Okay. So a little more resistance will support that rhythm. Awesome. Your feet are neutral, okay? So make sure that you're not pointing your toes. This would be super awkward, but you don't want your heels dropping either. So just a neutral foot placement. Mirrors are here for your reference. Hopefully that helps you to see the pedal stroke a little bit better. Good. So we're gonna do a couple accelerations. Not yet. <laughs> we're going to get a few revolutions faster than the beat. So it's just going to feel like you're going faster than the beat. Like I said, if you don't have your computer, not a big deal. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Pick it up. In three, two, one. Go here. Let's go. Pick up your pace. Now, if you find yourself going a lot faster, that's an indication you need more resistance. It should feel like you're pushing against something, bring your intensity up. Hence the term high intensity intervals. Good. Keep your knees pointing straight ahead so you're engaging your inner thighs. Keep your abs in tight. Eight, six, four, three, two, get back on the beat. And if you need to catch your breath, you sit up tall right here, okay? When you're ready, when you start to feel better, your hands come forward. So seated, your hands are either going to be at first, that's right here, your hands look like Wu-Tang forever, and then just right here. Otherwise, your hands can be out wider. This is second, but in the saddle, we're never reaching all the way up to here. It's a little hard on your back, and you can't breathe quite as easy there. Okay, we're gonna do one more push. Four, three, two, push it here, go. Good. It's like somebody's chasing you, so you gotta pick up your pace a little bit. That's it. Keep it going. Ha. A little faster. Good. You breathing heavier? Perfect. 
Okay, so remember, as a beginner, we don't want to go absolutely ape shit straight away. Because if, okay, slow it down. If you go all out, you're gonna be sore and probably not quite as excited about getting back on the bike, right? And I want for you to want to get back on the bike. Okay, so more resistance here. We're on that slower beat. One, two, one, two. About 64 RPMs. Good. This is a fun one. Yeah. Okay. So just connecting with the rhythm right here. Yeah. Small turn up. Now remember, if you are clipped in, think about pulling up and kicking over the top as well. So you're feeling the tops of your shoes with your feet. You hear that build up coming. We've got another push. Now this one's gonna be more challenging because we have more resistance, right? Good. Right here, let's go, push. Get ahead of the beat. Now you wanna support your legs by pulling your abs in tight. So you're engaging your stability muscles so your legs can work just a little bit harder, which also means that you are toning your abs simply by pedaling. How cool is that, right? I'm not a huge fan of crunches. I'll do this over crunches all the time. <laughs> Good, back on the beat right here. Awesome. Now this would be an opportunity if you want to grab water or towel off, know that you can. In my videos, I don't normally have, a, have water. I hydrate before and after if you're concerned about that. But I just, I want to focus on you and just focusing on delivering the best performance without interruptions. So you won't see me drinking water. Falling off might happen, but that's also why I wear a hat, so I'm not sweating in my face, right? Good. Let's add a little bit more resistance right here. Good. So if you close your eyes and you imagine you're out on a hill, that's the type of resistance you should feel on the songs dedicated to a hill. So typically something between 50 and 70 RPMs is gonna be a higher resistance. Second push coming up. Abs are tight, we've already added a little bit more resistance. Good, let's go, pick it up. Keep your abs in tight. This is the opportunity to pull them in just a little bit tighter, right? Without our crunches, working our abs upright. Hey, hey, that's a light. <laughs> yes. Pull up, kick over. Smooth circles. Beautiful. Back on the beat. You know what who I am. Okay. Now, we're going to go to our fastest song. We're going to cap out at just over 100 RPMs. Some of my other videos are faster than that. Just know you'll get there with commitment and consistency. So don't ever beat yourself up. That's not what I'm about. I want for you to be talking positively to yourself, encouraging yourself, okay? Because that's how we flourish, right? Okay, so right here, you're just, just over 100 RPMs. And like I said, if you're not there yet, that's absolutely okay. Now, again, it's that base resistance, not zero resistance. You are worth more than zero. Okay. Do you see how I'm a little bit bouncy? That's the flywheel pushing back. Okay, so I want to have a little bit more resistance here so I don't feel like it, those uh, pedals are pushing back. Okay. Okay, holding that little bend of the elbows. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. 
We have two pushes in the song. Okay. And these are our last pushes for this ride. Your last song is just a cool down song. Now, if you aren't at 100 RPM, your goal on the push, I want you to try and push up to the beat. Okay, otherwise, we're getting ahead of it. If you are faster than 120, you need more resistance on the wheel. A little bit faster right here. Good. Start to feel your heart rate come up. Make sure your shoulders aren't coming up as well. Yeah. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Back on the beat. Yeah. If your arms get tired, you can always move your hand position. You can always sit up tall, especially if you're winded right here, bringing your hands up and just focusing on your breath. And just be encouraged to know that recovery becomes shorter and less intense the more often you do this. And that is an indication of your level of fitness. Okay, so that's something to kind of use as a standard of measure is how long it's taking you to recover if, of course, you're pushing as hard as you can. Okay, consistently. Uh, okay, last push of this ride. Let's give it a solid one. Ready? We are in it together. Let's go. Okay. Your why, your reason why you got on the bike today, use that as fuel to push you to the finish. Maybe you work just a little bit harder on this push, knowing you've got the rest of the day to recover. Let's add a little bit more resistance right here. Say yes to the challenge. Say yes to getting uncomfortable, because that's what changes you, okay? You got this. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Okay, last song is just a cool down. This is not something I typically do on my rides, but I think that it's really important for newer riders to take more time to cool down, okay? Because this is still new to um, your cardiac system, okay? So allowing your heart to cool down slowly, to warm up slowly, these things will prevent you from feeling nauseous uh, and potentially passing out. Because I can tell you I've had a lot of new riders that don't listen to their body. They're trying to do what everybody else is doing. And then I wind up having to carry them out of the studio because then they pass out. Okay, so I'm not trying to freak you out or anything. I just want you to know that it's really important that you honor your body and you listen to your body. And the beauty of this is very likely you're doing this at home. So our ego isn't quite as big when we're at home, right? <laughs> Unless we're trying to impress someone that's in the house, right? But really, just any video, I don't care if it's my video or another video, watch. Make sure that you're doing what feels appropriate for you, okay? It's absolutely cool to try something out, but if it feels like it's out of your scope at the moment, she said, do you love it. me? I okay. only partly. I only, only love my baby, my mama. I'm sorry. Take a little bit more resistance off. Okay, we're making this easier. If you think of it like an arc, that's your workout. That's how your workout should be. Also, let me qualify this. I had somebody give me a hard time because I started with a faster jog on one of my rides. It's a more advanced move, and I always encourage everyone, you can do every one of my rides in the saddle. You can always get choreography, okay? So keep that in mind that I'm trusting 
that you're a grown ass adult and you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna know, okay, well, that's a little bit too much for me. I'm better suited to start in the saddle and then a pace like this wouldn't be aggressive, right? Okay, just wanted to say that. <laughs> Good. Take off a little bit more resistance. So what's the takeaway? I want you to know you can listen to your body, do what feels best for you, but remember that we're not staying in our comfort zone. We're gonna push and challenge ourselves, but we also know our limitations, so we're not gonna do crazy things like try and do choreography when we can't hit the beat first. Okay, so that's your, your priority. You hit the beat in the saddle, and then you can hit the beat out of the saddle, and then you add choreography out of the saddle. Okay? Congratulations. Your workout is complete. Now, we're gonna do just a couple stretches here. So taking all of your resistance off. Good. And just bringing your right ear to your shoulder. Palm of your left hand is extending towards the floor to enhance the stretch in your trap. Good, and switch. Awesome. Good, hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back, open your heart. Take a deep breath in, feel the rib cage expand. And as you exhale, create space in between your shoulder blades, drop your chin towards your chest. Good. Feeling that good stretch. Now reach up as high as you can. And then just a little bit higher that's so where your standard should be. Let's hop off the bike, grab a hold of your right foot. <laughs> Using the bike for support, tuck your tailbone under. If you have good balance, you can always extend the opposite arm up. So you're driving your right kneecap towards the floor and reaching your left fingertips towards the ceiling. Good. And as you wrap up your workout, as you are doing your stretches, Stay in your body. Stay in what's going on with your body. Maybe having a few moments of gratitude. But I say it's kind of like yoga, right? Like you have this awesome dessert served to you when you're finished with your yoga class, which is essentially lying on the floor in Shavasana. And you can just kind of enjoy how your body feels after doing yoga. And we don't do that. You really shouldn't be lying down after a workout, like a cardio workout. Um, sorry, we're hitting our hips here. Um, but you don't really get to marinate in the goodness. So be mindful of that when you cool down and just notice that your body feels more alive and energized and you've got endorphins. I call them endolphins. It's kind of a, a joke. My cousin, I'm sorry, my niece called them endolphins. She's like, my endolphins are swimming in my brain. <laughs> so you'll see some endolphin jokes uh, floating around on some of the videos. Um, so this is your power pose. I like to finish with the power pose. This is scientifically proven to increase your confidence and your courage. So whenever you need that in your life, this is a tool in your toolkit that you can use just before you need to speak publicly or ask for a raise or talk to somebody that you feel nervous around. Give yourself some private time. Stand tall like it's your favorite superhero and it just it changes the chemistry in your brain so that you have more confidence, you have more courage. And right here, we are marinating in all of our strength. And now that we feel more power, more empowered, just holding the space just to feel good about ourselves. It's a nice way to end your workout. So with gratitude, let's take a deep breath in. Capture that good energy you created. Pull it to your heart. Keep it with you. Share it with others. The world needs a little bit more love right now. Uh, again, my name is Holly. If you have any other questions, anything else that you want me to talk about or touch on or do a different playlist with, uh, leave them in the comments. I always read them. It may take me a day or two to get back to you, but know that I will get back to you, okay? You guys are amazing, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.